Hello, and welcome to 8020's product highlight series. Today we're going to take a look at dynamic pivots. These pivots allow two bars to pivot and position at various angles. They're easy to install, available in both fractional and metric, and compatible across a wide range of profile series. They require no machining and come pre-assembled. They can also come as individual components, allowing you to customize your pivot. More information on 8020's dynamic pivot components can be found in the 8020 product catalog. Now before we get started, it's worth noting that dynamic pivots come in various styles and alignments, such as zero degree, which runs parallel with the bar, and 90 degree, which runs perpendicular with the bar. Now for our example, we're gonna start with individual components and assemble a dynamic pivot ourselves. So we'll grab one of our arms, take a washer and put it on the T-nut side, take our nub, and we'll line up that arm on the side of the nub. We'll take a bolt, feed it through, and we'll just hand tighten that down. Go ahead and finish that off with our wrench, get that nice and snug. Now once we have that tightened down, you can see we still have full range on our dynamic pivot. So we'll go ahead and repeat the process on the other side, grab our arm, put a washer on the T-nut side, and line it up over the side of the nub. Grab our bolt and we'll feed it right through into the threaded hole in the nub. And tighten that down. We'll grab our wrench and finish it off. Now once you have all that together, we're at the point where we're matched with our pre-assembled dynamic pivot. So from here, we'll go ahead and install it onto our profile. We'll loosen up the T-nut on the nub Now that we've got that loose, we'll slide it right into the open T-slot. We'll go ahead and find our position on there, and we'll tighten that down. From there, to install our other bar, we'll first need to loosen up the T-nuts and the bolts on our arms. So we'll just get these loosened up. Once you have all those loosened up, you can grab your other profile and we'll slide it right in between the arms. Now you want to make sure when you're installing this that you don't get your profile too close to your nub. You want a little bit of a gap. So we'll grab our wrench and we'll tighten the bolts back down. And once you have that tightened down, you have a nice secure connection, but you still have fluid movement in your dynamic pivot. Now lastly, we want to mention that dynamic pivots can come with brake handles. You simply loosen up your brake handle, move your profile into the desired location that you want, and you can tighten that brake handle back down and it'll hold it right into position for you. Now hopefully you found this segment on dynamic pivots helpful. For more information, please visit 8020.net and be sure to subscribe to future 8020 videos. And as always, make it a great day.